How's it going everybody, Goldhat here, and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be entry 36 of my Assassin's Creed Valhalla walkthrough guide, and in this entry, we are going to be starting the Snottinghamshire Arc. So picking up where we left off, we have just now completed the Gloucestershire Arc, and we are ready to start our next arc. I want to see the Alliance map. I have received a unique summons from Snottinghamshire in the north. From your old friend, Billy. Billy? A name I have not heard in ten winters or more. How is he? Well, it seems. Vili asked that you join him in feast and celebration, in honor of his father, Heminger Jarl. A welcome invitation. It'll be good to see him again. It is worth recalling that his father, Heminger Jarl, would be a formidable ally. Will you go? I will leave for Snottinghamshire today. Good. They will be pleased. Right, when we start this arc, we are going to have our first mission is Old Friends, which we are going to be traveling to Snottingham, and we will have a map location for this, and I will be cutting out all that travel time so we don't have to watch that, but our location will be right here. I will be covering all the wealth that we come into contact with, and in this Nottingham, we will have one piece and it will be down a well, so we're gonna go ahead and grab that and go get our cutscene. This must be Snottingham. Saxon and Dane live in peace. I expected nothing less for land under Heminger Jarl's rule. You're a long way from Norway, Wolfkist. Vili will be pleased to know it. We have all come a long way. Good to see Vili again. Pour the meat! Eivor has come to Snottingham! Skull! Make sure the supplies are secured. We may set off at any... Do I trust my own eyes? Is that truly who I see? Trigve, you old hound. How are you? Eivor, a friend of old is a good omen. Look at this. Your chin grass might be mistaken for hedges now. Ah, but a healthy Jarl beard it is not. And what of Vili? I was happy to get his message. I stand in Vili's place today. He and his father have gone to Ulkathorpe to stave off an invasion of Picts. We've laid a long siege, and Heminger Jarl looks to finish the job. I have not fought beside Vili and his father since we were young. They have my blade if they need it. In spite of these war cries, you should know that Vili's father is more frail than last you saw him. How could that be? Him and Arial is an ox. So he is. And he'll be pleased to skull with the moon in his jaws at the sight of you. Come. The swiftest path is by river, but these waters are hostile to Norsemen. You bring good luck with you. We could guide the sail steeds downstream. I'm ready for whatever danger awaits. Prepare your convoy, and we'll be off. Our Jarl has waited long enough. We follow the Wolfkist to the encampment. Father himself. 
I've traveled far, spilling the dew of slaughter. A reputation is the price of victory. Aha! Indeed! Hey, half moon. Ya, Yunan! For your relief! I am ready! Ready the sea beasts. Eivor Wolfkist is here to escort us upriver. So what we want to do is call our long ship and we are going to escort a couple other ships. This part can be a little buggy, but my best advice here is to just break the fences with your own ship and then shoot as many archers as you can so the boats will keep traveling with you. It is, but a sad one. I suppose I was the age you are now. Skadi had sent us a harsh winter, and much of our clan was starving. To feed us, my family incurred a large word debt. But my youth rendered me too proud to pay it off. I wanted to raid, not toil. For my failure, Heming Gyan. I cannot leave Hemingr's convoy undefended. Picks ashore! Protect the convoy! You're mine! on the rich. Guard the convoy. The convoy is unscathed. Hemingyar will be pleased. Sail. 
Let's put in here. Now that we arrived, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this because they take forever to get to the shore. But once we do, we are going to get a little bit of dialogue. We're going to jump on horseback and travel to our next destination. So our Yarl map marker is going to be right here. I will go ahead and give you a bird's eye view of this area. Once you get up here, it will look like this. Cast We're going to go ahead and talk to Hamington, and we will get our cutscene. That there is Eivor the Wolf Kiss. Eivor! Hail! Hey, we have not laid eyes on you for some ten winters now. Hail. Freya's kiss. You came. Welcome. Your son sent for me, Heminger Jarl. One of the happier messages I have had in England. I wish I could expand on this happiness with good news. But we are in the center of a storm. And yet, my old heart sings great songs at the sight of you. You look good, Eifur. Strong. Healthy. My heart sings as well. It is good to see you again. Hey, hey, yours is a poet's heart, I am told. What a mix of spirits you have. Movement on the walls! We must end this soon. Before the weather changes. The whole of my clan would be here if you called them. No need. These men are flies for swatting. Even now, Drakefi rides for Stonebird, should any Picts escape. It will all be ended by this time tomorrow. You have known me as your Jarl for an age. And I have known and loved you all since you were babes. An easy burden to bear. Let's hope you fight better than you age, old friend. You are not slurring, Willy. Have you mislaid your ale? Today, you do not fight for me. Not for each other. Today, you fight for your children. Fight so that they may grow. So they may be good and just as you are. For them, today, we take back Ulkerdorp. Trick V and A4 have brought us arrows and oil to bring firelight to the Picts, to feed their traps. The first to signal from the top of that tower, their war chief's weapon in hand, drinks my mead for the month. Thor's beard. It's good to see you, Vili. Oh, is it? Or have you come to snatch glory from my calloused hands? You can have your glory, Vili. I'm here to support you and your father. Such humility. Where is the Eivor I once knew? For all times, then. And knew alike. Fight, Heminger sons. Bring victory today. For tomorrow, we feast! Light the arrows! May they burn with flame unbridled! The big chief hides behind his men like a cow. I have no doubt he will be well fortified. Look for him on high ground. I will have his head for hemming her young. Billy and the world seeks to fight by your side again. Go after it now. I will have his head for hemming her young. Whoa! <laughs> 
So to a month of your father's. You're injured. No, no, stop, stop. I'm fine. There is more blood here than injury. Pride cannot heal you, Heminger. Only care and bandages. My clan fought well, did they not? You saw it. The hearts in these people. How they rallied behind their Jarl. You have that effect on men. They trust you. <coughs> <coughs> and they love my son all the more. But he lacks the trust of our Danes. And I am running out of time to persuade them. You are sick. And you accept it. Unlike my son, he thinks me immortal because he must. He does not want what I have to give him. Was it Vili who summoned me, or you, Heminger? I thought you would come faster if it was Vili's name you heard first. I need your wisdom before. Your discretion. You have it. Of course. There will be a thing soon, in which the nobles must name a new Jarl. And I am torn. I would have my son follow in my steps, but he is reluctant. He follows his warrior's heart. Others will name Trikvi. A fine man with a mind for leadership, but his lineage is tattered, and he is less bold. I have known Vili since we were small. He's bold and courageous, and your warriors love the man. The nobles should choose him. Billy departs for kinder downfall soon. Ride with him, and talk like old friends made new. If I see any Valkyries lurking nearby, I will send them away. I can fight them off a while longer.
Now that we've gotten our cutscene, we are going to go for the ability and the ingot chest that are here. There is going to be two pieces of wealth, and I will be covering those right now. For our next mission, it is going to be on borrowed time. We can just jump out of this castle and Vili will be right here. We are just going to follow on on horseback and we will have a cutscene, which I will be picking up right after. Vili. There you are. Come. Ride with me to the falls. They are Freya's gifts to these unforgiving lands. All right, but if I don't faint at the sight of them, you have oversold the view. You fight with impressive skill, I should say. I taught you well, I think. You taught me to fight empty air, Vili, and trees and snowdrifts and the like. No, I am certain I saved you from a snowdrift once. And a murderous tree. That's how I remember it. Any man who would call a tree murderous is a man who has had one too many blows on the head. That tower there. It recalls the broken wall in Norway on the road to my uncle's. Remember? I do. I remember the bite of that winter's chill as we sheltered from the wind for hours. It was you who got us stuck there. Searching for the chickens you let loose before the Yule Feast, I'll have you remember. It is good to ride with you again, Arstek. I told you, that was meant to be a dragon's tail. It was a woody little twig in my eyes. No dragon's tail. Must I remind you of your own disrobed adventures in the pre-dawn streets of Stavanger? Eivor the Pantless, a head soaked with mead, and many pockets full of vomit. Dragon's tail it was then. Are you sure you want my father's mead? Not afraid you might wake up tomorrow, naked, face down in a hog's pen. Is that what you call your house? Was Trigve not sent there yeah. father to help? We must go! <laughs> Eivor! What happened? I came too late to stop this. The Picts set fires and ran. They mean to spite us. There are more people trapped within. Free them, Eivor. Tend the wounded. We'll get them out. So for this next part, we need to search for the survivors. There are going to be three in total. Two of them are going to be in these smaller houses, and then the last one will be up in the middle. We are going to be getting all three of those guys, and then we will get our ingot chest that is in the middle, and right after we will get our cutscene, and I'll be picking up then. No! 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 Ah! Thank you, stranger. I thought 
this was my last day on Midgard. Help us, please. We're stuck on my brother's sick The smoke is too much. Is anyone... Anyone out there? Thank you. Thank you. There are others. Please help them, too. Please! Anyone! Save my family! They're in here! Not me! My wife! Oh, my dear Hilda. Why? I cannot live without you. I cannot bear to go on. Forgive me. There's nothing you can do now. Get to safety. Must be blocked from the other side. Safety. Billy, where are you? Answer me. To clear a path. I will get the man, Eivor. You carry the woman. Careful, I will have to wait. You are staying here. Oh, thank the old father. Hold on to me. I can get you out. Thank 
you, Vili. Thank you. I draw breath because of you. I thought I might have to rescue you, Vili. Had I died, it would have been my time. My fate is already spun. I'm sorry, but you cannot endanger yourselves like this, lords. You have people to lead, a future to consider. The old man has wisdom, Vili. You have the full weight of this clan on your back. My father carries that weight. I do the fighting and feasting, and I am expert at both. It's good to have you watching my back again, Eivor. You see what I deal with, Eivor? The mind of a troll in the body of an Aesir. <laughs> Still the same arse stick as when we were children. I'll never change. This is hardly the time for lightness, you two. We have many injured to comfort. Well, that is your domain, Trigvi. I don't wish to be seen as a savior and healer all in one afternoon. The waters at Kinderdunfall will soothe my wounds. If my father needs me, I'll be there. Vili, stop! Eivor, wait a moment. Eminger Jarl has confided in you about his health. He has. He said Vili wasn't taking it well. Vili lives in another world entirely right now. He is cracked inside, and will not face the full truth laid before him. And how are you? Have you braced yourself for what is to come? I... I have made my peace with the future, yes. Worry yourself with the wounded here. I will talk to Vili myself. Next up in our objectives, we need to find and speak to Vili. He is going to be right here on our map. He is going to be up in these rocks. I'm going to go ahead and show you a bird's eye view real quick. We're just going to climb up there real quick, get our cutscene, and we are ready to move on. The kinder downfall is beautiful. Now, where is he? found my secret haunt. I would be deaf to have not heard your singing. Your crow's craggle could awaken the dead. <laughs> These skirmishes with the picks, they've worn you down. Not at all. The more scars, the better the boast. Oh, look at my father. A battle-worn veteran carved up like a goat on a spit. Not a metaphor I'd used just now. Not in his state. These waters are magnificent, no? They comfort and heal. They are Freya's gift to man. Willy, you need to face it. Your father is dying. When he departs for the corpse hall, you will take his place, as expected. Novelty of this soggy north has worn on me, Eivor. Too warm for winter living, too cold for summer. I've heard Mercia is more temperate. Dense forests, bright colors, thriving streams. Is that how it is in your settlement? You are to be Jarl, Vili. Your father expects it. The people of Snottinghamshire expect it. <sighs> I only want sun on my skin and an axe in my hand. Ale and adventure. Not the staid life of a Jarl. You defy a long tradition, Vili. The son takes after his father. That is the way of things. Eivor. I have my own reasons to see you made Jarl. 
The Raven Clan wants friends in England. You are among my very best. You do not need me in that seat to secure an alliance. You and Sigurd are beloved here. Your father is dying, Billy. Now is the time to get your house in order. It is not my house. It is the clan's house, and the clan will decide what happens next. You have a chance to end on good terms with your father. I wasn't afforded the same luxury. Don't squander it. Billy! Billy! Come forth! Another attack? It's your father. He hasn't got long. Come to the longhouse. Him and Ayala is at the edge of death. I must see him before he goes. Before we make it to the longhouse, there will be a chest with an ingot over here on the left, which I'm going to be picking up. This will count for one spot of our wealth, which we will be grabbing right now. To that feeling and take it with you to the hall of the slain. You have become a great warrior, Aphorn. A warrior and a leader worth, worth song and verse. I had many good teachers, Heming Ayal. You, chief among them. I beg of you now. The seer is on her way, father. She has remedies for you. Cures and charms. I held you here, really. In one proud hand when you were fresh from your mother's womb. I watched you grow. A dirty-haired boy. Swinging sticks and running through the mud, dreaming of glory. I... I am proud of what you have become, son. <laughs> and I am proud... Proud of what you will become. No matter, I... Uh, I... Uh, uh. Father... Vili...
We must prepare for the funeral. I'll send for my clan. You call on the nobles of the Shire. The nobles have begun to arrive. Trigve needs our help to see this through. We will be at the funeral pyre, overlooking the village. So we need to head to Odin's Rest. That is going to be right outside this longhouse. Once we arrive, it will look like this. We're just going to take horseback all the way up this hill. We will get a cutscene and we are re ready to round out this entry. This journey to the halls will be heralded by roaring flames. Eivor. Drengur. Suniva, thank you for coming. Ah, oh, the sight of old friends lets my heart rest easy. We came as soon as we heard, bearing gifts for Hemingur Yal. The celebration will last many days. How soon shall we begin? The pyre's construction is underway, and all of our guests are lodged and welcomed. We could begin shortly. Good. You handled this well, Trikve. I pledged my life's oath to Hemingur Yal. There is nothing I would not do for him. The all thing must be held when the week is out and the funeral is done. The nobles of this shire will name Vili the Jarl of our clan. This assumes they will be sober after a week of drinking and weeping. It will be a grand funeral. Father will have a clear view of his lands from here. The flames will burn bright and tall for all the shire to see. You've done well, Trigger. This was his favorite spot in the Shire. I suppose we should get started. Our guests need looking after. I will look for you later, to save you from them, once the mead has really soaked in. You are a true gift, Eivor. Thank you. Trigvi is Hemthorpe's rock. With him around, the city can keep its peace. He's a good man. I must be away for a short time, Eivor. I want to retrieve something for my father. A gift. When did you have time to make a funeral gift? <laughs> it was something I had hoped to give him in life. You must see it to believe it. I brought a gift from the Raven Clan. I stored it at the watchtower on the far side of Hemthorpe. Very kind, thank you. I should like to see it. I should look over the gift first. It must be worthy of hemming Ayal. There's a heaviness to your look, Eivor. What troubles you? Himminger desired my counsel before he died. Wanted my opinion on the future of this clan's leadership. That would be Vili, would it not? If tradition held, yes. Trikvi has tasked me to help the Volva with the sacrifices. Could we speak with her to ease your thoughts? It is a good idea, but let me go alone. Set scouts around the village. The people here must mourn in safety. And that will complete on borrowed time. We are going to have three new quests right after that one, which we are going to be picking up in entry 37. So this is going to be wrapping up entry 36. As always, I hope this walkthrough guide has been super helpful. If it has been, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions at any time, feel free to drop a comment down below. Or you can hit me up personally on my Instagram. The link is in the description box. And I will see you guys next time. Gold Hat, signing off.